Hi folks, this is Sofar here. I'm going to show you a new feature that I've been probably working on for a very long time. It hasn't really gone anywhere. I'm very bored with the way that wild plants are planted in my test. As you can see, they're all just in straight rows, which is highly unusual. I don't think that nature grows plants this orderly and therefore I'd like to see this changed. I previously submitted a patch that implements some of the changes needed to make these plants a little bit more wild, but I've done some more thinking about it and came up with some other nice ways to make use of how plants are planted. So, let me show you. I've gotten a little tool here that allows me to hit one of these plants and change the P2, the param2 value of these plants. I'm using this param2 value to change the way that the plants are drawn by the mesh maker. If I just hit this plant once, you'll see that it slightly switches. What I'm actually doing is I'm telling this plant to slowly, randomly change its position. If I now dig this plant up and put it back and hit it one more time, you'll see that it moved to exactly the same spot where it was. So there's no weird things going on, it will just randomly move, but it will move to this position for this plant always. A different plant, however, may not move in that direction. It moves slightly different way. This one will go somewhere else. This one will go to the left. This one to the right. As you can see, the more plants have this random position, the nicer it kind of looks. It's a little bit random, a little bit uneven on another setup over here and you can see it's it's nice and varied it looks kind of nice and wild all right we can do a lot more than that now we've just put one single param2 value of one on these plants but we can go up to number 256 so what i've done is i've made it a little bit field where depending on what we do the amount of bits that are set the plant will get drawn differently so a param value of one or bit flag one will actually make the plant slightly offset randomly wherever it's set. I've made a little testing field over here where this one has 0, this one has 1. And as you can see if you make P2 value 2, that will be this plant. It's drawn rotated differently than this one. It's the same plant, it's just a normal plant. But if I hit it 1, 2, 2 times, it'll look like this one. If I hit it one more time, it will be randomly offset. So this plant is regularly offset, but this plant with 3 in the bit mass value of param2 will be randomly offset. The next bit is over here, so that will be 4. Right, this is 0, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This one, 4, <coughs> will be a larger plant. It will be larger horizontally but not vertically. And this one will fill up the entire block but not go over it. So the pixel is a little bit stretched so you'll have to, if you want to use this one for a plant you probably need to change the texture size to account for that. This one will be the same as this one but randomly offset. This one is the same as this one but not rotated 45 degrees but 90 degrees like this. And this one is that one but then randomly offset. Here's another plant, bitfield value 8, that has three faces instead of two, randomly offset. These are just dummies because these bits don't combine, so they'll look the same as the two up here. The next bit will make them all larger again, so this row looks the same as this row, but then all larger. Alright, now we go to the next one. Now this one, the next bit over, and that's the 16 bit, We'll plant, we'll make the plant have four faces that are parallel, two parallel, and then rotate a 90 to parallel. This one randomly offset. This one is a dummy because those bits don't combine, so they look, these two look the same as these two over here. Slightly larger. Offset. And then we get to the by six, uh, three faces again. And those will look the same as these eight over here, so those bit values don't really combine. But as you can see, these would be really nice, for instance, for 
a crop like um, wheat, which is usually planted in straight rows. So that may look really nice on wheat. The larger ones like these may be good for wild plants because they're really quite wild. I mean, these are these are nice and wild too, like these, especially a little bit larger. But the variation may make for an extra fun effect without much code. This actually doesn't change much of the um, the protocol. It uses bits right now that are entirely unused in plants, and so this will be a very easy way to make some extra decorations really cheaply, really efficiently on the client side. This is all drawn client side. Server just sends a new param2 value to the client in case you change one of these. And of course mods can just uh, choose to plant certain plants with a certain param2 it always. You could for instance think that uh, schematics or the map gen would for instance plant wild plants in various sizes but when you dig them up you get the smaller one that you get yourself. And if a player plants them, it'll just get the straight planted one. Hopefully this will make for some nice plant variations in future versions of Mindtest. Um, this won't break any clients. Any server that runs this code that has older clients connecting to it, they'll just see this very first plant here everywhere. Which will work just fine. I mean functionally it is exactly the same plant as all the other ones over here and just the visual aspect is different so there's uh, a very nice uh, simple backwards compatible path here I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration with uh, my ongoing work to make my test uh, plants more interesting in the future thank you for watching